Jun Yao. Jun Yao. To blow one's cover. To blow one's cover. Jun Yao. The floor is yours. When I was back in Form 6, I attended many of my debate practices in school wearing nothing but a singlet, shorts, and slippers. My debate coach had told me, hey, it's okay if you wear it to practice, but just remember to dress formally during the competition itself. And jokingly, of course, I asked her, I don't get it. Why the fuss over needing to dress so formal? Isn't a debate about the arguments you present? Isn't it a battle of wits, logic, and speech? What does my clothing have to do with it? It doesn't make my arguments more logical. And besides, imagine this for a moment. You are a very prestigious debater and you're dressing up really nicely. You made it to the finals, only to lose to a guy wearing a singlet, shorts, and slippers. Now, in, now isn't that the most interesting that would happen to all of you? And my teacher told me that, you know, she, she said something along the lines of, you know, having to adhere to the dress code, or because you're carrying the name of our school, and blah, blah, blah. The conversation ended there, but that really left me wondering. So, I have a question for you. Don't judge a book by its cover. I know all of you have heard of this quote before, but how many of you believe in it? Okay, great, awesome. All right, now to those of you that just raise your hands, you are a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> now wait, let me explain. That's because you follow Toastmasters dress code, business formal clothing. For men, that means wearing a coat or suit or a tie. And for women, that means wearing a dress, a skirt or a pantsuit. Regardless, we must all present ourselves as professional respectable because we as members carry the name of Toastmasters. But do you know what dress codes really are for? Historically, dress codes have been used to indicate social class, hierarchy, and gender. And there's many more. And according to Alberta's research journal, people actually use dress codes to identify if you have a good or bad behavior based on how you choose to express yourself with your clothing. Ripped jeans, he's a gangster. Really short skirt, she has to be a prostitute. Singlet, shorts, and slippers, this guy will never get anywhere in life. Last year, I joined Toastmaster officially under the sponsorship of Distinguished Toastmaster Park. And in my first meeting itself, I wore a white collar shirt my dad handed down to me, and a black slacks I still had from secondary school. And the reason you see me wearing a blazer right now is because when my mom found out I was almost denied entry to a networking event, she insisted to get me one. And I'm not from a well-off family. But the strange thing is, the moment I wore the blazer, people started saying I looked twice as handsome. <laughs> and they also allowed me, finally, into networking events, and I was also treated much more nicer than usual. Strange things, isn't it? But this reminds me of a book that I once read by Malaysia's first distinguished Toastmaster, Gerald Green, Speak Like a True Leader. In one of the chapters, he said that the essence of any good speech is that the speaker has to be true to themselves. I've been lying. So it's about time I be honest with myself. It's time for me to blow my cover. This blazer. I mentioned that I wasn't from a well off family. This blazer costed my mom over 100 ringgit, and that was the cheapest that we could find. But one thing in common with all these blazers, regardless of the price you get it from, is that it is worn by both businessmen and scammers. <laughs> For what? A false sense of credibility? Power? Respect? I don't need this. And yes, this is the shirt that I said that my dad handed down to me. But it still doesn't feel like me. I'm not 
I, I'm not simply a clone of my parents. I'm not the expectations they placed on me when I was young. It's time for me to find something else. <laughs> and as for the black pants, the black slacks, I said that I still retain from secondary school. Yes, admittedly, right? Uh, <laughs> secondary school did shape me into becoming who I am today, right? But people change all the time. So it's still not who I am. And besides, honestly, it just doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> anyway, and I don't even want to talk about the, the shoes, the fancy shoes that my mom got me for my birthday present, because like, you can wear it and you can seem like an athlete. Your, the society tells you that you wear this, you will seem like a very professional person, you're very credible, you could be an athlete, you could be a businessman, entrepreneur, or whatever. Right? Get out. <laughs> so, this feels much more comfortable. It feels like who I am. It's, it's just me. And besides, no matter what anyone says, I think this is fashionable. Let me tell you. First, there's white and there's black. Yin yang. <laughs> there's also a gray area which I won't show you unless I want to be removed from this competition. Okay, uh, if I could, it's very comfortable, I want to wear this wherever I go. But the world doesn't work that way. Right? It doesn't matter if I'm a Dean's List student if I don't look like one. It doesn't matter if I have the brains and smarts for a job but I don't wear a suit and tie to the interview. And the examples I just gave were just the tip of the iceberg. The cover is much more than what you wear. In this world, you can get away with colonization and the murder of countless lives as long as you wear a crown of stolen jewels and you sit on a railroad throne. And in this country, you can be denied life-changing opportunities simply because of things you can't change, like the color of your skin, your gender, who your parents are, and whatever reactions you guys had just now, I think it wouldn't be the same if I was fat or bald or old. So what can we do? Was my speech just an elaborate excuse for me to do a strip show? Of course not. I want to see a world where they see you before they see your race, your face, and what you wear, how kind you are, your personality, and so on. But that's a long way away. In the meantime, if I could inspire you to blow your own cover, to be your true self no matter what society tells you, if I can do all that, all while wearing a singlet, shorts, and slippers, you can do it too. Back to you, Papa Strong.